parliamentarian Gajendra Kumar Ponnambalam from the Tamil National People's Front was arrested in his Kolpiti residence on Wednesday morning. A special police team from Kilinochi has reached Colombo to make the arrest. MP Ponnambalam stressed that the arrest was illegal and informed the speaker about it over the phone. They, they want to call the recorder statement, sir. Uh, so there, he's saying there is no arrest order. No, no, there is no arrest order. He said, he just now, when he's here in front of him, he's a three star officer. How the hell? Why is he Jayapuram? Oh, why is he Jayapuram? He said there is no arrest order, sir. Yeah. No, there is no harm in giving the statement, sir. But, uh, but uh, I was told by the police that they wanted me to come only tomorrow. Right? They, after, they, after they have given in the writing, they have given in the writing, sir, they have asked me to come tomorrow. And then I have come and I want to raise a matter of privilege today. They have given in the writing, sir, they have asked me to come tomorrow. And then I have come and I want to raise a matter of privilege today. So they have got to know that I am trying to raise a matter of privilege today and they want to prevent me and they are trying to arrest me today. It's an illegal arrest, sir. Now, the, the, this, uh, this police officer told me till now, sir, that they have a arrest order. But now, when I am speaking to him and I am asking him, please produce the arrest order, he is saying that there is no arrest order. No, he, no but he is he's refusing to accept that, sir. Unless, he, unless uh, you tell them, he is refusing to accept that. Right, right. The speaker said that I should be taken to the parliament and a statement can be recorded after I raise my privilege issue. If there was an urgency, your police wouldn't have told me to visit the police tomorrow and record a statement. You are trying to sabotage my attempt to raise a privilege issue. This is illegal. The police are the offenders. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 The parliamentarian was first taken to the Kolpiti police and thereafter was taken to Kirinot to be produced in court. A debate ensued in Parliament today on Parliamentarian Gajendra Kumar Punnambalam. We have gotten to know that he has even contacted you and said he will provide a statement at the relevant police station once the Parliament session ends. I would like to bring to your attention a clear decision announced by the then Speaker Chamal Rajpaksa on Tuesday, the 3rd of March 2015, on the procedure which should be followed when arresting a parliamentarian. He cannot be arrested when he is preparing to arrive at this chamber. <laughs> Parliamentarian Ponnambalam called me and so did the DIG. What they said was he will be produced to the court in Kilinochi and be allowed to attend the parliament session thereafter. I do not think we can obstruct the duties of the police. It is their responsibility to produce him in court once he is arrested. Individuals with murder allegations came into this parliament. There are visuals of MPs attacking former Speaker Karu Surya. Was action taken? On the 9th of May, an individual wearing a yellow shirt went with Deshabandhu Tenakon and attacked the Aragalaya. Was any action taken? Bruno Divakara has been arrested under the ICCPR for hate speech. If you want an example of hate speech, listen to Mahindraj Paksa speaking at the Temple Trees on the 9th of May. Who has been arrested over it? We continue to stress that there are two laws being enacted in this country. Entrepreneurs are starving. They are unable to pay leasing installments. If someone rented a building and set up a business, it is wound up by today. 
but Gotabe Rajapaksa, who is responsible for all of it, has been assigned a new house in Stanmore Crescent because there is too much noise at the house in Mallasekara Mavata. This is Sri Lanka. That residence is rightfully assigned to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. He has given it because that is his client. Not only will he give his residence, but also his clothes if it is required. Will foreign investors come into the country when they see Gajendra Kumar's issue? Will investors from the Tamil diaspora invest in the country? Was it right for him to threaten a police officer on duty? Is it suitable for an MP to do so? We cannot allow people to be intimidated. A separate law isn't enacted in the North. Investors will never come when they see what MPs are up to. He made another infuriating statement saying the Minister of Foreign Affairs is handing his official residence over to his client. The Minister does not have an ability and he cannot do that. These statements made behind parliamentary privileges are truly vilifying. He needs to revoke that statement. No one acted in a thuggish manner. When Vimal Viravansa went and made a DIG answer a phone call, was that not Tagri? Minister Ramesh Patinana said, I lied about the foreign minister. The Newswire article proves otherwise. It is evident that the LTTE's hidden hands are still operating. Was what Gajendra Kumar Ponnambalam did correct, especially in front of a school? This is clearly a proxy of the LTTE. The police had attacked him and fled to the examination centre. Do not lie. Do not deceive people in this chamber. The police should also be investigated. They must be arrested. Find out whether it was Gajendra Kumar or the police that went into the exam centre.